what's up, y'all? Um, I wanted to to put my position on the the bail out out there. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, not just conservatives, you know, libertarians and those kind of people. Just a lot of people are in favor of of doing it, and you know, I I like a chance to actually read the bill to make sure it's not chock full of shit. And, and you know the, the policies have have a really good chance of working before I pass judgment on the specific bill, but it is my belief that free market just let, letting a free market run rampant doesn't work. All right, I'm not sorry to offend all of you gung ho capitalists, but I'm not one of you. Um, you know. I, I don't like the fact that in capitalism that there's a 10 to 15 percent poverty threshold just built in. You, you've got to have really poor people comparatively, you know, in in a capitalist system, and I don't like that. And I definitely don't think that those poor people need to be as poor as they made. And um, I, I also don't. I, I, I don't understand why people would think that a, a, a free market would get itself out of debt. It it won't. And and um to 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 hate on like socialism and socialist policies is ridiculous. You're American. You're part socialist. The New Deal. Just that put us on the road to socialism. It's a famous quote. You know, those are all socialist policies. It's what saved us from the Great Depression. Socialism. Okay? It works. You pay your taxes. They fix shit. Alright? I understand people don't like giving money away. Nobody does. But you need taxes to, to fix shit. It, it's as simple as that. In a free market system, Believe you me, you be paying an ass load for water, you be walking on crappy sidewalks, and you be driving down pothole filled streets. Alright? Unless you lived in the ritziest of the ritzy neighborhoods, in which case you'd have like the smoothest asphalt put on your road every single day. You know, it's just, it's too much. It, it, too much separation, too much inequality in capitalism for what should be considered public. So, this the specific bill that, that went through the Senate last night, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, but a bill, a course of action involving social policies is exactly what we needed to, to put ourselves back on the right track, and, and I hope that we implement more, you know, I, I know I'm in the minority here of Actually, I basically am a socialist in in economic terms. Um, you know, I, come on, I know I'm in the minority there, but I, I hope we implement more, you know, more socialist policies. I don't mind being taxed if I get rewarded for it. And you know, the basis of the society is that we all work together. Well, guess the fuck what? <laughs> if we don't all pay collective taxes, we're not working together. So I don't understand what, how the sense of nationalism is, is, is normally reserved for people all the way to the right. But where, where's your money coming from for, for your national pride, for, for your national monuments, for, for your national military? You know, socialism is, is a necessity. We don't want a private military. And so the question becomes, how much do we want? And like I said, I have no no problem with with welfare and public works. I don't know why anybody would. You know, I don't want to end up paying for somebody's 15 kids. So I, I I'm of the belief that we can put in policies that say, you fuck up X amount, we got you X amount. You fuck up more than that. Fuck you! It's really not that hard, and and people try to paint it as it as it's gonna be an out of control problem. Like, oh my God, you saved the economy by 
giving seven hundred billion dollars in, in relief money, and, and and that people are gonna keep on trying to take advantage of it. People are always gonna try to take advantage of things, and but this is not going to set the precedent that you could fuck up majorly and, and walk away from your responsibilities because hopefully, you know, people will be held accountable f for whatever they do, and you know the people think that that you know restaurants and liquor store owners and all those kind of people are trying to, are are going to try to do you know this exact same thing just spend 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 irresponsibly and then plan on getting bailed out and first of all if if, if the majority of people in your economy have that fundamental flaw in their thinking then you're fucked either way but second of all this is not at all setting that type of precedent and I think I think we need to realize that you know some things are a necessity whether whether they're completely right or completely wrong you know some things are a necessity maintaining an economy a structured economy and preventing a depression is a necessity allowing the possibility of a depression is not good so in the end you know the right course of action was taken all right y'all peace